Hi guys, I hope you're having a great day. So in this video, I am so ready to start decorating for fall. I have all of my fall decor pulled out, some of the new items that I've picked up, and I am going to start today in the kitchen. So I'm definitely leaning more towards neutral color tones, but my dishes that I'm gonna be putting in my china hutch are far from neutral. They are ones I purchased a couple years ago from Hobby Lobby. They have the vintage red truck, sunflowers, hay bales, and I just think they're very pretty. Actually, I didn't see them in the store this year, so I don't know if they stopped carrying them this year or they just weren't out yet, but they were not in the store that I was looking at. So I will show a picture of my china hutch with neutral color dishes and then with the fall themed dishes as well. So let me know in the comments which do you prefer. Do you like the neutral color tones or do you like the brightly colored fall dishes? So that's what I'm going to be working on today. I am going to start decorating the kitchen. I'm going to change out my spring summer dishes to my fall dishes and then we'll just see what we come up with for the rest of the room. So I just started by removing the brighter colored dishes that I used for spring and summer as well as the coordinating linens and I'm going to get a little bit of footage of how this space looks with just the minimal neutral color tones and I'm going to show this a little bit later in the video comparing it to the brightly colored fall dishes and I would love your opinion on which look do you like better? Do you like the more minimal neutral color tones or do you like the bright pops of color for fall? I am definitely leaning more and more towards neutral color tones and minimal looks. However, there is definitely something to be said for a bright pop of color as well. And it's always a lot of fun to decorate for the different seasons. And here's a close-up of the dishes I'm going to be using. And like I've mentioned, I purchased these at Hobby Lobby a couple of years ago. You all know I really like the red vintage truck. And the scene on these dishes, the hay bales, the sunflowers. We live on a ranch, so it just fits. And I really think they're pretty and a lot of fun. So I am going to get these displayed on my hutch. And then we will take a look. <music> So my camera battery needed charged. It was getting pretty late in the day, so I went ahead and just paused the video, and I am gonna pick it back up today. It's actually a couple of days later, and I'm ready to get this kitchen decorated. So let's get to it. I like how I have the top of my hutch displayed, so I just made some simple changes to give it more of a fall feel. I changed out the brighter colored candles for some simple cream colored ones, and then added some fall florals to the back of my red truck. And I think it looks really, really pretty for fall. And then on the shelf, I ended up choosing a few different cookbooks that I thought would look really pretty to use in a vignette for fall, and added them to my shelf. And then I also took away the buffalo check placemat. I didn't think that was necessary. I thought it was a little bit too bold for how I want my hutch to look. And then I added a planter that I had picked up at Walmart this year as well as a fall floral pick. And then I just placed some different pumpkins here and there and I think it's turning out really really pretty and I'm loving that I'm using mostly neutral colors I think it tones down the brightness of the dishes 
but they still give that fun pop of color and the fun of fall look that I want. For the center of the top shelf, I used a few different pieces to create another vignette. I used a small brown tobacco basket to bring out that warm color and coordinate with the baskets that I have going on around the room. And then a white planter with some faux maple leaves and a couple of pumpkins. And then on the side of my hutch on the floor, I went ahead and added a small urn as well as a larger pumpkin. It's one that I've had for years and years that I had purchased at Kirkland's. For our kitchen table, I layered a couple of different placemats. One of them is plaid, one of them is just a natural color, and then I added this really pretty vase that I picked up at Hobby Lobby last week, as well as some faux florals. And I think it's simple, but very, very pretty. And then I just moved over by the back door. This is the door that we use 95% of the time. And I decorated the little vintage table. I added some faux florals, a cream colored pumpkin, and then I changed out the florals in my hanging basket and added a little hanging fall pillow as well. Loving how this space looks. I think it's very simple, but I'm loving the muted colors of those faux florals together. And then I moved back over to the hutch. Felt like it needed just a little bit something else. I added this Farm Refresh pumpkin sign as well as a little white pumpkin over by my wax warmer. And if I can find links for any of these items, I will put them in the description box below and I also wanted to change out the basket the onions and potatoes are actually from my garden needed used up and so I'm just moving them over to a different basket so that I can get to work on those I like to chop them up actually and freeze them and use them throughout the year and I decided to change up the decor over here use a large pumpkin and adobo with some pine cones and I think that looks really pretty and then I end up using the basket on my little kitchen island instead. So I really like this vintage candy jar, but I felt like the color was just a bit too much. So I'm going to use it somewhere else and I found another candy dish to use instead. And then I moved on to decorating the shelves of my cart. And I think it's simple. I think it's pretty. You can see that's where I ended up using the basket. I just put a couple of cookbooks in it as well as a placemat. And then on the top shelf, I used some pine cones, some more pumpkins, and a plant stand that I converted into a tray. And I think it's really pretty. 
And then I moved over next to the stove, my farmhouse kitchen crock. I decided to turn around and just use the plain side. I thought that would be a fun switch. And then I took out the brightly colored utensils and chose to just add some simple wooden ones. I thought that would be more of a fun look for fall. And I just messed around with this space until I got it the way that I wanted it. I added a small concrete pumpkin as well as a pumpkin pick. And then I just moved the cutting boards around until I found a look that I really liked. And I just changed out the florals in my pot holder that's hanging on my pot rack above my stove. And I will have that linked in the description below if you want to check that out. I know I've been asked about that before. So just a simple switch up with some faux maple leaves. And I think this space is really coming together. So I know I've mentioned this several times, but I'm definitely leaning more towards neutral color tones in my home and my decor. And I'm loving how all of the neutral colored pieces that I chose to use, it feels like it tones down the bright color of the dishes, but I still get that pop of color if that makes sense. I feel like if I would have used the traditional bright orange and bright red, it would have been way too much. And I'm just loving the mix of all of the neutral decor with the pop of color in my fall dishes. A quick reminder on how this space looked with the more neutral color tones versus how it looks now all dressed up and decorated for fall with that pop of color and I would love to know down in the comments which look do you prefer if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up like comment to let me know I'd really appreciate it if you're new here I would love it if you hit subscribe and hung around I hope you have a wonderful blessed day and thanks for watching